Y'all, it's Pride Month. It's June. And, uh, yeah, I'm here drinking tea. <laughs> Hi guys! So today, since the month is June, I've decided that, you know, I want to create a sort of Pride Month kind of inspired uh, look that I've been thinking of in my head. The look that I've been going for uh, evolves around a face chart that I made. I'll leave it somewhere on the screen here. And I, when I made it, I said to myself, hmm, this is very interesting. I'm more of like the avant-garde style type of person. I like the more, you know, creative side of makeup where it's like there's no rules at all and the creativity is like there. Like yeah, technicality should always be there. But as far as like creativity and the avant-garde and ugh, that's just what I like about makeup is that style of makeup, that side of makeup that's so, so freeing in a sense. When I made the face chart, however, um, I thought of like Roger from American Dad, but like, <laughs> but like if he was like elevated in a sense, because with this type of makeup look, I did think of myself as more of an alien rather, rather than a person. So, um, yeah, <laughs> let's get into it, shall we? So the first thing that I want to do is prime. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer for this. I'm going to take my little makeup spatula, just take a good size amount of it onto my hand and just pat it in. For foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NW40. Just gonna shake it up, put like at least two pumps into your mixing palette. Taking my beauty sponge here, I'm just going to dot it onto my face and then blend it. Just blend it everywhere on the face. And if you feel like you need a little bit more coverage, you can definitely go back into the foundation that you put into your palette here and just do the same thing. Just, but dot it on the areas where uh, you feel like you need more coverage. So for concealer today, I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer in the shade NW35. Take the wand here, dot it into the certain areas you want to conceal. Do some striping onto some areas. A little cross on my chin, go on the nose here. I like to go all the way to the tip at least. And then I'm gonna put a pretty good size amount onto the forehead. And with this concealer, you just need to like take out the wand and just do your highlighting like that. Like you don't need a lot. This concealer's like literally pure I can't believe it's not butter, butter. And then I'm just gonna blend it out. For powder today, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. It's a compact translucent powder. And with my Morphe E3 brush, I'm just gonna put some onto the brush. And I'm just going to lightly set my face. This is a very, very, very translucent powder. It's a nice powder. Like seriously, it's a lovely powder. I just think when you're dealing with translucent powder and you are someone like me who is very, how you say, um, melanated, uh, you wanna be very careful because you don't want to put too much on and then suddenly it's like flashback. Now this is just in case you are afraid of that like potential flashback. I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW40 with the same Morphe E3 brush put it onto here. And I'm just going to lightly dust in those areas, you know, onto my face. When I was doing my face chart, again, I was thinking of like an alien in a sense, but like a glamorous alien, you know what I mean? Like it's just that type of style of avant-garde makeup that I love is just that alien-esque kind of feel. I wanted this, this alien to have like blue contour and yellow blush because I've never done that before because I don't know what yellow blush looks on me with my skin tone. <laughs> so um, I think we're going to try that today. Before blush though, however, we are going to contour. I'm going to take my Morphe M438 brush and 
the palette that I used to make that lovely creature, I did use the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker eyeshadow palette for this. And probably for this, this will probably be my entire face, you know, contour, blush, everything. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here. This is the shade Soap. I'm gonna dip into there. And with this, because this is an eyeshadow and eyeshadows like Jeffree Star's are very much pigmented, I'm gonna go very lightly first. So as I look through my to my mirror here, I'm going to lightly start the contour right here. Lightly start here and then blend up. This does look crazy, I know, <laughs> but trust me, it'll be perfect, I promise. <laughs> Now, if you feel like your contour is a little bit, you know, you can obviously take your powder brush and literally just veil it. You can definitely veil it and blend it even more onto your skin. Now that the contour is somewhat on, I'm gonna go into blush, which is going to be a yellow blush here. I am gonna be using more of a yellow blush to complement this blue and sort of give more of a gradient into it. Maybe it'll like gritty to a green possibly. This shade right here is called Wow. Honestly, this is the only yellow shade out of my entire like eyeshadow palettes that I have. <laughs> this is this is actually the only yellow shade that looks complimentary onto my eyes, honestly. And I'm not gonna lie, you know, it shows up on my skin. So taking my Morphe M405 brush, I'm going to just go in to this yellow eyeshadow and I'm just going to concentrate just like how I normally like put blush on I'm just going to concentrate it right here and of course you may have to like pack more of it on like you don't have to like do that you may have to pack it on a little bit more but that is okay that is okay this is an experiment at the end of the day for brows today, I'm gonna to use my Morphe Brow Cream in the shade Chocolate Mousse with my Morphe E E29 brush. Just gonna dip into here. First, I'm gonna brush these hairs first. And then with the product on the brush, I'm just gonna go in with my natural brows. And to cut the brows, I'm gonna go in with my favorite product, which is the MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Lay Low. I'm gonna cut the brows, and I'm also gonna use it to prime my eyes. And to apply the primer onto my eye, I'm gonna use my Morphe M166 brush. So for the eye, I'm gonna use a transition shade. I'm gonna use this little pink shade right here. It's called Bubblegum. And I'm gonna take my Morphe M441 brush, and then you apply it above the crease. I start lightly first with the shade, and then I go back into the shade without doing any kickback or some sort. And I'm just gonna go back in, making sure the pigment is really on there. And with this same brush, I'm going to flick it. I'm going to flick this, this shadow a little bit. That way it gives a somewhat lift to the eye, so. Now that the transition shade is on and flicked a little bit, I'm gonna go in with a more darker shade on the crease right here. I'm gonna go in with this shade, Raspberry, and taking my Morphe M321 brush, I'm just gonna dip into here. And I'm just going to lightly start this shade onto my eye. And then with the shade, I'm going to also flick it, but not as far as I've done the pink, just a little bit. And always remember y'all, y'all can always go back into your shades and blend to bring back more color and life into it. Just. Be wary of that, please. Thank you. Once you have those two shades onto your eye, I am then gonna go in with purple. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is a shade called Bite Me. It's a, a shimmery purple. 
I'm gonna take my Morphe M522 brush and my MAC Fix Plus um, setting spray, or you can just fill this up with water, which is what this one is. <laughs> Once you have the brush dampened, I'm gonna go into the shade here, and you're going to pack it onto the inner corner of the eye and the outer corner of the eye. Just pack it very lightly first, and then you can start blending. Taking my Morphe 224 brush and wetting it with water or Fix Plus or whatever setting spray you have, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called Orange Juice, and I'm just gonna pack it onto the center of the eye, like so. And before I go into the bottom waterline here to add any more color, I'm gonna go in with my Inkblot AMC Gel Liner in the shade 77 and taking my Morphe M443 brush, I'm just gonna dig into here. I'm just gonna put this onto the waterline. And then taking the eyeliner again with this brush and with a compact mirror here, I'm just going to just line my waterline and then create a very dramatic wave. With the eyeliner now uh, applied and kind of good, <laughs> I'm gonna take my Morphe M431 brush. I'm gonna wet it again with some water or some Fix Plus. You may never know which one you wanna use. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called And What? And I'm just going to sort of take this and sort of make some sort of a line right here where it sort of follows the eyeliner in a sense. With the eye makeup officially applied, I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational uh, Mascara. I believe this one is the full fan effect. And I'm just going to apply this mascara like normal. Taking my Morphe 131 brush, I'm just going to apply this brush onto the mascara. And I'm just going to apply this onto the bottom lashes. So for the top lashes, I'm gonna go in with Jador Beauty's uh, lashes in the shade Twink, which are these very, very lovely wispy lashes. And then taking my duo Strip Lash uh, Adhesive in Dark Tone, I'm going to apply them like so onto the lashes, let them dry, and then I just apply them on. Once lashes are now applied, I'm now gonna go in with a highlighter. Now, I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is called Lemon Drop, as a highlighter because since I have a yellow blush here, I want a highlighter that is very complementary to that blush. Does that make sense? Uh, so I'm gonna use this brush here. This is the Morphe M501 brush. Dip into here. I'm just going to focus it mostly here. In that way, and have like a gold sort of sheen into it. With the highlighter on and everything else on, uh, we're now gonna get into the lips. I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Mini Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Equality, which is from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, Equality Bundle Set. And I'm just gonna apply the lipstick like that. Now I'm doing a green lip because I feel like because we have so many colors going on onto the face, I feel like having a strong, bold color like green would give some sort of an emphasis to it, I think. 
the sets. And to set the face, I'm gonna use the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, which is in the matte uh, style. And I'm just gonna set the face. And this is essentially it, y'all. So I think I may find me a little costume that's a little bit colorful or something or whatever I have. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, <laughs> this was the best costume I had and honestly, probably the only colorful thing I had in my closet, <laughs> aside from me. <laughs> I hope this video was enjoyable. Um, again, this is more of an avant-garde style. You know, it's not like a typical, what I would think is a typical kind of rainbow look in a sense, you know? There are many artists in pop culture and on social media that are my personal muses and they drive me at least to create something that's different and out of the box. So um, right now I feel you know, nice. I feel creative. I feel like, uh, I feel like I just came out of a Skittles rainbow, you know? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and, uh, follow me on social media. Follow me on social media. I don't care. I now have TikTok, so, which I've been using recently a lot. So if y'all want to know more about me, I have social media. I don't know what else to say except I have my social media. You can always message me about whatever you know it can be about makeup it can be about uh any topic just whatever <laughs> again thank you guys so much for watching and uh hopefully i'll see you guys soon <laughs> bye